So where is all of the information that processed foods, processed carbohydrates, hydrogenated fats and oils, and grain-fed um, meats and beef and all of these different things that we have and, and farm-raised fish are causing massive inflammation in our body. People say, well, that has no correlation with the immune system. Well, let, let's just look at this for a second. High blood pressure, high cholesterol and heart disease, type 2 diabetes and obesity are predominantly lifestyle-based diseases. Now, again, I'm not coming down on anyone for having those things because they absolutely have not been taught. Just like I wasn't taught as a kid, just like my parents weren't taught as kids. Who's going to teach anybody any of these things? There's no schools teaching these things. The media is not going to teach you. They're like, oh, no, go on and have your you know, fake meat or your grain-fed beef or whatever it is. It, it's like 10 to 20 times the omega-6s, which are, which are inflammatory, Okay. So when we look at this, we're saying, okay, so now we're spiking blood sugar after meals, okay? We're filling up our insulin receptors with the hydrogenated fats and oils, and then it's leading to what? Type 2 diabetes, inflammation in our body, and most people that end up with type 2 diabetes also end up with high cholesterol or heart disease, and vice versa, and then they end up with high blood pressure. This is not a surprise. Like, this is how the human body works, because you think that you can just palliate symptoms with a medication, when the medication, all it does is magnify ask one thing, moves the pathway to another way that the inflammation has to come out. So next thing you know, your entire body's inflamed and you have autoimmune issues, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. And we're like, well, where did all this come from? Well, here's where it came from. The way that we eat, the way that we live. People might say, well, people are living longer today. Well, they're living longer today because we're able to keep people alive longer today. That's it. But people are already on medications in their 40s and they stay on them for the rest of their life. All right? Let's keep that in mind. And it starts with processed and inflammatory foods. <laughs> 